hey, I was just laying on my baseball here, and I thought that maybe I'd take a video of uh, what I do to help with, uh, I guess, computer-related neck and back pain, which I get a lot from uh, doing web design and graphic design. So I have this baseball, and I put it under the part of my back that's sore, and it works the knot just by laying on it. So you'd think a baseball's too hard to do that, or maybe too, uh, you know, unforgiving. But when you're on a mattress, the mattress actually like takes a lot of that force away from the baseball by letting the baseball get pushed down into the mattress. So you can actually lean right on it, and it doesn't uh, hurt too much. Um, you can also use one of those orange hockey balls if you're leaning against a wall and doing this, but I uh, actually find that it's nice and relaxing. You can fully relax when you're laying down, and that seems to help with uh, letting the muscle, or the knot in your muscle release. So the other thing that I've found really helpful is while I'm laying on this baseball, the specific area of my back and neck that gets tight is sort of in the, like, up here in the trap area. Um, it's hard to film that, but right, right along there it gets really tight. So what I do is I get the baseball, um, sort of higher up, so it's right under, let's see if I can film that, sort of right under the trap like that, so there's this, uh, I guess it flipped the camera, that's weird, um, there's this pinch happening. And when I go to like clamp onto my, my trap with my own fingers and start to work on it, the ball actually helps me. I can just kind of jam my thumb so that my trap's caught between the, uh, the ball and my thumb. And you can really get a lot of uh, you know, force going on if you don't naturally have a very strong hand. Uh, so I find this to be a pretty, pretty good method of working on my own um, knots in my neck and my trap and then just the baseball for my back and that helps like <clears throat> it helps like crazy for uh, having a stiff neck stiff traps and just generally keeping my uh, my upper back healthier for doing computer work and then you know volleyball players also have this problem pretty badly too from swinging so what I do for volleyball is I take again the ball and I put it uh, under my shoulder so it's just kind of like down behind my shoulder and then I just sort of like see if I can film that I just sort of roll my shoulder onto the ball and you can you'll be able to know when there's a knot there because it gets suddenly like five times as painful and uh, what I found is when I lean on the knot and just let the pressure stay on the knot eventually it'll begin to spasm and then release so make sure to drink a lot of water if you're doing something like this because uh my chiro or my mt and my uh cousin who studied massage therapy also said that if you're doing this type of thing uh, it's very helpful to be drinking a lot of water because it helps flush uh whatever it is the the tissues out again when you're well hydrated Anyway, hopefully that helps uh, get your neck or your shoulder or whatever it is a little more loose and limber. Thanks.